y'all what's up i hope that you're having an awesome day so today is my ninth month update post-op from vsg surgery i did have my vertical sleeve gastrectomy done in tijuana mexico with the mexico bariatric center dr rodriguez lopez was my surgeon and i had my surgery july 13th of 2018. so like i said i am eight months out no sorry nine months out and I just want to chit chat for a minute, okay? Um, I am in a hoodie today because I'm I I don't feel like getting dressed today. Plus, I have a fake tan developing on my body right now, so I'm looking a little bit more bronzy than usual. Really quick to get completely off topic, the self tanner that I used. Um, I'm gonna talk about it for just a second, just a second. Um, so I had gotten this thing, it was in an Allure Beauty box, which I, okay, I canceled my subscription with them in January, and I keep getting the boxes. I don't think that I'm being billed for it, but I'm still getting the boxes. I mean, I'm not going to complain, because I'm getting free shit, I guess, but, you know, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been liking them recently. Anyways, but I got this in this month's box. It is this from Vita Liberata. It is an organic tan infused cloth for the face and the body. Um, anytime I ever do self tan, which I don't do it very often, I never do my face. Like I'll kind of do like up to my neck, but I don't do my face just because I exfoliate a lot and stuff. Um, but anyways, these cloths, there was two of them in here. Um, they did a pretty good job. The only problem is that it's not like, it doesn't have a color block in it, so you can't see where you're applying the tan. And I was having issues, and I'm a little bit splotchy. So then I went in with this from St. Tropez. It's a one hour tan. Um, it's a self tan express. And I don't know, y'all. I'm just, I'm like 50 shades of orange right now. I'm completely off topic. The point of this video is my nine month update. So I will have all of my stats listed down below, but I am, I am pretty upset with my progress, how it's been in 2019. Like I'm, I'm pretty upset. The week that I posted my eight month update, you know, I said I was kind of stalled and everything. I did lose a few pounds and I got down to 209, which is my lowest so far. It always happens. I will film my monthly update, you know, I'm not losing weight, and then the next few days after that, I will lose a few pounds, but then right before I film the next one, I will gain a couple pounds back. So, I weighed in at 212 this morning, and that is the exact same weight that I was in January. So, I'm pretty upset. Like, I'm, I'm not ready to stop losing weight yet. I still want to lose 20 more pounds, like just so I can be at 100 pounds weight loss, but I do want to lose 40 pounds total, like 40 more pounds, just because I kind of want to see what my body looks like at that point. So I would be sitting around like 180. Um, I, you know, I'd be totally comfortable with that weight. I just, I still want to lose more and I've been trying everything. I don't know. I'm getting a little bit discouraged, and I mean, I'm sure that I could probably just clean up my diet a little bit more, be more strict with things, and it would probably help. I'm just, I've been a little upset, you know? So, I know that people tend to slow down, you know, around this point in their surgery, or their post-op, but I'm not ready to slow down, so I'm really wanting to change and I really want to see more of a difference in you know my weight loss I'm not done yet and my body just needs to get on this level but I will say I've been working out for I think this is my second month at the gym sorry I got a new chair and it swivels and I don't have a high back anymore so I'm really excited but it swivels so I'm gonna have to try not to swivel anyways I have been going to the gym for two months I do go four to five days a week um, I hit I don't really do cardio very much just because I don't I don't like cardio um, I do a lot of strength training I will do 
abs and legs two days in a row and abs and arms two days in a row. Um, and I just switch off like that. So I have noticed a change in my body, but I have not noticed a change in the scale. And people do say that that happens. So my body is changing, but it's, I still want to be at that lower number. I want the scale to be lower. You know what I mean? So I'm really going to try, I don't know, do more research on it. You know, see what other people have done whenever they've reached this level. Um, I'm thinking about doing like a paltry set, like a five day paltry set. Um, and see if that helps me any. Um, you know, see if that kind of kicks off my weight loss again. Hello. So like I said, I really just want to see what I can do, what I can change to kick off my weight loss again. I mean, I'm, I don't eat complete garbage, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do allow myself carbs and some sugar every now and then, but I don't go overboard like I used to pre-op, you know? But, I don't know, maybe just cleaning that out again, not doing that will help. I do have one more thing that I want to talk about. Um, also, at the end of this video, I am going to be doing a fridge tour. I was asked in a previous video to share what I eat in, like, a typical day. I'm going to take you to my fridge and just kind of show you the things that I eat during the typical day. Um, so that'll be at the end. But before we do that, um, I do want to talk about one more update, and that is about my menstrual cycle. If you are uncomfortable about that, um, or you, you just don't like hearing about it or something, I will leave a timestamp on the screen right here to kind of tell you where we jump over to the fridge tour, um, just in case you don't want to talk about that. But I do want to talk about that for just a second. So, um... As some of you may or may not know, I know there's a lot of new people here, I do have PCOS, uh, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. With that, I had very irregular periods. Um, I, I think the longest I went without a period was four or five years. Um, so if I don't have a period, I'm not ovulating, I've never conceived children, um, I've never been pregnant, never had, you know, I never thought that I was pregnant, no, nothing, you know. I have facial hair growth, um, you know, obviously the weight gain, uh, you know, the other symptoms that come along with PCOS. So, with that being said, after surgery, I believe it was September of last year, 2018, um, I had gotten my first period and that was my first natural period that my body produced without the help of medication. Also, I do want to say, sorry, I'm really jumpy today. Um, I did try medication to help with my PCOS. It made me very sick and so I just, I wasn't taking anything. I wasn't taking any sort of medication um, or anything like that. So I just do want to say that. Now, if you do have a condition like this or whatever, you know, obviously you want to go to the doctor and listen to your doctor and do what your doctor recommends, but I, I don't go to the doctor. We've talked about this before. I don't like going to the doctor. So, fast forward. Um, September, I believe, of last year, I had gotten my first natural period, and every month, like clockwork, from September to December, I would get my period on the 8th of every single month. In January, my period came two days late on the 10th. February, my period came on the 17th. March, my period came on the 20th. So every month now, it's coming later than it was the month before. I don't know why it's doing this. I know that some people, you know, their period would come every like five weeks. Like my mom, she said that that's what hers would do. Um, and I don't like it because I can't predict when it's going to come now. I mean, like I'm kind of guessing maybe like <laughs> two to three days after, but I don't know. So it's really frustrating me. Um, because I, I just don't like that. I like to know things. I like to plan things, and I like to know when things are going to happen. And not knowing when it's going to happen 
really drives me crazy. Um, yeah, so that's my little rant about my period. If I ever go to the doctor, you know, I'll let them know, but until then. So we are going to switch off. I'm going to grab you off my tripod. We're going to go to the kitchen and take a look in my fridge and we're going to talk about what I eat on a daily basis. I just realized that I filmed the whole refrigerator tour and I wasn't even recording. I never pressed record. That makes me really sad because I've been talking for a long time. Okay, we're going to redo this. Um, so <laughs> we'll start off with what I have on my counter right now and that would be my protein bars. These are my favorite protein bars that I have found thus far. It is the Power Crunch brand. This one is triple chocolate, which is my favorite flavor. I do also like their peanut butter fruit, their peanut butter fudge, but it can get a little too like kind of sweet for my teeth. So I don't know. I don't really eat that one too much, but I love the triple chocolate. It has 13 grams of protein, only five grams of sugar, and I just I, I really like it. I eat one or two of these a day. Um, so yeah, I just, I really like them. They do have a ton of flavors. These are Chris's over here. He has cookies and cream as well as mint chocolate or chocolate mint or something like that. Also, I have my, my uh, mirror here because I can't tell if I'm ever in frame or in focus because this camera doesn't, you know, have a screen that shows me that. Um, so my fridge is right here. So just kind of an overview real quick. So a lot of this stuff in here is not mine. <laughs> this whole top shelf situation right here, pretty much none of it is mine. I don't like flavored waters. I don't like LaCroix. I don't like diet, you know, sodas. I don't like that at all. Um, I do have a few beers way back there in the back. It's Miller Lite. I don't have them too often. And whenever I do, I really only have one. Um, just because it makes me feel really bloated and gassy, so I don't drink beer too often. Um, moving on, this is mostly my jam right here in this section. Um, I have, I always have eggs in here. Eggs are a huge portion in my diet. Um, and with these regular eggs right here, what I would do is I will get like a smaller like kind of shallow um, container um, I'll put water in it and salt like I heavily salt the water pop an egg in there put like kind of a little lid on it pop it in the microwave for five minutes once it's done it's an amazing hard-boiled egg like the best hard-boiled egg you will ever have so I love to do that with those eggs I will usually eat one or two of those a day um, just because I really like them. They're good with protein and, you know, they taste awesome. Sometimes what I'll do, I'll either eat them just like that, a hard-boiled egg, or I'll add just like a teeny tiny bit of mayo, a little bit of mustard, some relish, and make myself like a little deviled egg situation, um, uh, because it's delicious and I love deviled eggs. So, I also have these right here. Uh, as you can see, I have six of them. It's the Jimmy Dean Simple Scrambles. These have 24 grams of protein in them, and they only have two carbs in it. So I eat this every single morning, pretty much. Every morning I will eat these. Um, I love them. What I do with them, though, I, I mean, they're good just like that, plain. But what I like to do down here. I have a bag of spinach. I always have a bag of spinach in here and also green onions. I will take a few leaves of spinach, maybe like four or five leaves of spinach, a few stalks of green onions, put that in there as well. And it is, I mean, like seriously, adding spinach and green onions to your eggs is literally the best tasting thing that you could ever do for your eggs. It's amazing. Like seriously, just try it you won't go back because the spinach and the green onions is so good in it. So moving on, um, down here, there is also some strawberries in here. I don't buy them all the time. 
Um, I will just have strawberries every now and then. Whenever I do eat them, I might have maybe about half a cup of strawberries. There's an apple. That's Chris's apple. <laughs> So one up from that drawer. This is kind of like our snack area. Coda, please. And this is kind of like our snack area. Um, I do have some little cuties in here. I don't eat those too often because um, they have like a lot of sugar in it. But every now and then I just want kind of like a little treat. But what I do love is things like these two right here. This one, it has salami and cheddar in it. It has 11 grams of protein. This does have 12 carbs in it, but I don't eat the um, crackers in here. I might have a couple of them, but I don't really eat the crackers. And this will, you know, it fills me up pretty well. So I will, you know, sometimes eat something like this. It's, it's just something tasty. Um, also love these little texas shaped things um this one has turkey breast in it it also has some sharp cheddar cheese and the um, blah, blah, blah. this one it also has some crackers in it as well as some almonds um this has i want to say 19 let me see here yeah this one has 19 grams of protein in it um it does have 18 carbs but you know i don't I don't really eat the crackers that come in them. They do also have different, you know, variations of this, but this is just kind of one of them. Um, let me see what this one is. Oh, this one's Chris's. That has, like, little turkey sausage and mild cheddar. I don't, I don't know if I'd like turkey sausage. How many grams of protein does this have? This one has 19 grams of protein, 18 carbs. So... I love something like that. It's a very easy, you know, quick kind of snack meal type thing. Um, that's Chris's hummus. I don't really eat hummus that much. Um, I do love these. This pretty much has no, I mean, it has five grams of protein, but I mean, honestly, it's, that's not really doing much for me. I don't eat them all the time. But I do like them every now and then, and they're so good. I just love the banana chips and the chocolate and, you know, whatever. Um, so moving up, um, milk. I don't really drink milk at all. Um, I do have this, which I will show you the fuller, the more full package in just a minute. It is in the freezer. Um, but I do have this, which I will talk about shortly. That is a bag of chips from Mexican food that we had gotten. Um, and then that is Chris's little kolaches, which I don't, I don't eat those. Um, I always have ground beef. That way I can make taco meat or something along the lines. Um, if I make like a spaghetti or something, um, there is a type of noodle. They're called, let me see. They're made from chickpeas. I believe the brand is like Banza or Bonanza or something like that. It's like in an orange package, but they still have quite a few carbs in them, but they do have more protein. So if I do make like a pasta type of a meal, I will just have a fee, like just a very, very small amount of the pasta, but it will mostly be, you know, the meat with um, the pasta sauce in it. Also from H-E-B, these meals, these simple meals, oh shit, I almost dropped that. Um, so that one has a piece of steak in it, and that one also has a half a potato. I cannot eat this full thing. It's just not possible. It would take me hours to eat this whole thing. Um, but I'll usually eat, I will try to eat most of the steak, if not all of it, and then just a little tiny bit of the potato. This one... That one also has like a seasoned turkey breast, marinated turkey breast, some green beans and potatoes. That one's actually Chris's, but if he doesn't eat it, I'm going to. Um, I love having this. This is just some shredded chicken. Uh, it's shredded boneless white meat chicken. It's just very plain chicken, so you can kind of dress it up however you want to. You can add like a marinade to it, add a sauce or something. Um, which brings me to this right here. This is one of the best quesos that I've ever tried from the store. Okay. You can at me if you want, but Velveeta queso, that's not queso. That's garbage. Okay. 
I just want to say that. I don't like processed cheese. It tastes like garbage, hot, flaming garbage. Um, the only time that I've ever had Velveeta that it tasted good was when my Mima makes it for Christmas time. I don't know what she does with it, but it is really good when Mima makes it. <laughs> um, but like I said, this is a really good queso. And I just, yeah, I just really like it. I'll take just like a tablespoon of it, um, warm it up with, you know, a um, quite a bit of the chicken just so I can have more protein in it and it makes it taste really good so in here this is like our meats and cheeses drawer um, I always buy this kind of turkey I like smoked peppered turkey breast that's just my lunch meat of choice um, so I will always have that Chris has some uncured ham back there we do have some breakfast sausage as well as some bacon back there he has hot dogs I don't eat hot dogs um, on the weekends I do make breakfast, so I'll make either with sausage patties or some bacon in there. It just kind of depends. Um, he, this is his cheese. I don't eat processed cheese anymore. I was having digestive it. Hey, excuse me. Sir? Sir? Could you please? Um, prior to surgery, I was having digestive issues, and once I cut out the processed cheese, uh, my stomach was so much better. Um, but I will buy cheese like this. That's Chris's provolone. But, um, just like a natural sliced cheese like this, I'll buy these. That's just Colby and Monterey Jack. I mean, it has no carbs, five grams of protein for one slice, so... I use that a lot. If in the off chance I do have a sandwich, I, if the off chance I do have a sandwich, I will just use like one slice of bread and then I will load it up with the turkey, the cheese, and a lot of spinach. I love putting spinach on pretty much anything. Um, most of the time I will just do like a turkey wrap though. So I'll just use the turkey meat, put cheese on it, the spinach. Um, a little bit of mustard and just wrap it up like that and eat it um, so I'm not using you know getting the extra carbs from the bread I mean I think that's pretty much it for my refrigerator um, as far as my condiments go uh, I I love some picante uh, especially on my eggs I don't eat picante on my Jimmy Dean breakfast little scrambles things I don't know why I just don't um, but whenever I make breakfast on the weekend, I will use, you know, put some picante on it because it's really good. Um, I do love mustard. I've always loved mustard. It's just my jam. I don't really like other condiments. Um, I'll use a little bit of ranch every now and then, but not a crazy amount. So I'm not getting, you know, all that extra stuff in there. Uh, what else? So, in my freezer... Okay, so in my freezer, here's just like a little bit of an overview. Very little of this is mine. Um, I don't eat corn dogs. I don't eat those kind of things. I don't have Hot Pockets. I don't eat taquitos or any of that type of stuff. My main things is the meats that I keep in here. So I always have, I always have some frozen chicken breast in here. It's just white meat chicken. Um... I have some shrimp in here. Uh, a couple days ago, I did boiled shrimp with a pound of it. Um, and then I'm probably going to, like, saute the rest of that in the skillet. You know, do something real nice with it. But this, I will eat this almost every day, if not every other day. This is just seasoned beef fajita. I will season this more in the skillet. So, like I said earlier, because I have some down there, put it in the skillet and add some extra seasonings to it. Add a little bit of that queso, a little bit of a bean dip, and eat it just like that. And it is so good. For this meat right here, it's extra lean. It has 17 grams of protein, and that is for a 3-ounce serving size. So, I do always have that beef fajita meat in my fridge or my freezer at all times just because it's very easy to make very easy to eat 
it's just something that I always have. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I was going to take you into my um, pantry, but there really isn't anything in there exciting. Um, I don't, I don't really eat out of the pantry that much. Uh, most of what I eat is in the fridge that I warm up or cook or something like that. So you will notice I did not really mention protein drinks and that is because I'm rather naughty and I was drinking Premier Proteins pre-op um, but after I had my surgery I don't know if it was just my taste buds that changed but they it tasted so bad to me. It tasted like spoiled disgusting like chocolate crap pretty much um so i have not been drinking protein drinks i have mentioned that before so it's nothing new um but i do want to find a protein drink that i like because i do i feel like i still need to up my protein even though i do try to eat as much protein in a day as i can i do feel like i need more in you know my system um so that is pretty much it oh i always have some cashews here cashews are like my favorite kind of nut so my hair looks so crazy look at them they love each other so much anyway so that is going to do it for today if you do have any questions have any tips or anything like that um, leave it down in the comment section down below. Uh, if you do like this video and you want to see some more from me, please give me a like so I know that you liked it. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified. I just spit on myself. Hit the notification bell and, uh, you'll be notified every single Tuesday whenever I post a new video at 6 p.m. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Turn it up. Let's go. Let's go.